NBC5 News at 6 starts now. Hitting, screaming, and abusive students, unsupported teachers, and a district turning a blind eye. Those are the complaints outlined in an anonymous email sent to the Medford School District. Good evening and thank you for choosing NBC 5 News at 6. I'm Craig Smolin. And I'm Kristen Hosfeld. The email was sent this weekend focusing on issues the writer says are only getting worse at Roosevelt Elementary in East Medford. Today, NBC 5 News confirmed at least one teacher supports the claims. NBC 5's Natalie Weber is here with more in tonight's top story at 6. Craig Kristen, the email was sent this weekend under the alias Theodore Roosevelt. A parent NBC5 News spoke with today says she addressed the email with her child's teacher who confirmed the behavior. Tonight we're learning more about the allegations as well as the Medford School District's response. School's out for Thanksgiving break, but Roosevelt Elementary is anything but empty. We got parent teacher conferences uh, today and tomorrow going on. Christy Mileke and her husband brought their two boys Monday morning to talk to their teachers about grades and assignments. But instead, an email allegedly written by a Roosevelt teacher caught their attention. The tone of the message was not what Mileke expected. Shock, I guess, a little bit of disbelief. The email sent to school and Medford School District staff details violent outbursts in the classrooms. But another parent wishing to remain anonymous says their child's teacher confirmed everything and says she's considering pulling her child from the school. The teacher told the concerned mom it's been going on in grades three and under, saying one student even tried to knock over a filing cabinet in the office. It's just a little unsettling to know that that is going on for some teachers when some teachers seem to have it better with some students and then obviously some teachers are struggling. The email sender writes in part, my biggest concern is for the innocent students who have to endure these violent and psychologically damaging conditions on a daily basis, end quote. Mileke says from what she's heard from her sons, this information comes as a total shock. My students have never told me anything negative. They've always had a positive experience. The Medford School District did not want to go on camera to address the email, but sent us their response to the staff at Roosevelt. The email reads in part, We want you to know that we take these concerns seriously and will respond right away. It goes on to say, This is a complex issue that requires all staff and families to work together to develop meaningful solutions. End quote. Given the email was sent to the district and media anonymously, Mileke isn't sure what to believe, but it spurred her to get more involved in the classroom. I might actually be inquisitive about it just to make sure, you know, just to see if, as a parent if I can do anything to help. The email says that a, quote, mass exodus is brewing at Roosevelt. A district spokeswoman says she has no reason to believe multiple teachers are leaving the school. And late this afternoon, the district really received three emails they say are from teachers who say the anonymous emailer does not speak for them. We posted all the emails and the district's response on our website, KOBI5.com. Live in studio, Natalie Weber, NBC5 News. Natalie, thank you. Late this afternoon, Roosevelt's principal sent a message to parents. In that email, she denied any teachers or staff have left because of student behavior and said she is working with everyone to create a safe, positive environment.